What's up everyone, Trey Thousand GT here with another video. Uh, this time we're looking at the Nike Air Jordan 7 Retro from 2002 in uh, fr white, French, blue. And uh, these dropped the same day as the black and purple version. They This colorway was actually much more difficult to come by. The, uh, the black and purple, I remember they were still everywhere and this colorway was selling out faster. Um, at the time, this colorway had never retro before and I like the fact that Jordan Brand kept it really simple. You know, they picked a couple, they picked three colors or two colors, and um, they didn't go to town. They didn't need any, uh, you know, contrast stitching or anything like that. They didn't put like blue stitching around the whole shoe and they didn't do anything crazy to it. They just kept it simple, made it look like, you know, almost like it was an original colorway, but they just kept it simple. And, um, it just it was it's a super nice looking shoe. They did a good job on it, and <clears throat> the the leather that they used for the upper was really nice, and they uh, they fit true to size and they're very comfortable. Now is the time to buy them. Um, I'm seeing them dropping in price. They're going for around I say 150 to 210, and that really depends on size and condition. If you wear 11 and a half, 12 like me, unfortunately. We're going to be looking at maybe, I say, 180 to 210. And um, for any of you guys with smaller feet, like let's say 7, 8, 8 and a half, um, I say maybe like 150 to 170. So that's pretty much it. I think they did a wonderful job. I think this is just a beautiful colorway, the 7s. Personally, the 7s are uh, one of my favorite Jordans in the lineup. And uh, it's just all around very nice looking shoe. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop me a line. And um, as always, stay tuned for more videos.